All right, so this next one, PQ, is definitely a challenge problem. Uh, if you remember how to do quadratics, great. If you don't, this one might be a little bit tough, but go ahead and follow along. So since it's an equilateral triangle, or since it's equal angular, we know it's also going to be equilateral. So I can say that n squared is equal to 3n plus 18. In order to solve a quadratic, we have to get it to equal to 0. So I'm going to move everything over. I'm going to subtract a 3n from both sides and subtract an 18 to get n squared minus 3n minus 18 is equal to 0. All right, perfect. Now I can factor this. And once again, if you remember how to factor in, great. We are going to multiply two things. And our basic question is, what two things can I multiply? They're going to multiply to negative 18. And when I add them, it's going to get to negative 3. And so when I think through that, I know that I'm going to get a negative 6 and a positive 3. So a reminder that negative 6 times positive 3 gives me a negative 18. And negative 6 plus negative 3, I'm sorry, plus positive 3, gets me that negative 3. All right, and after here, just one last step. You just got to set n minus 6 is equal to 0, and n plus 3 is equal to 0. Solving, we subtract 3, get n equals negative 3. We'll add 6 here, get n equals 6. So I have two answers for this one, and we got to make sure they both make sense. So if I plug in n equals 6, 6 times 6, or I'm sorry, 6 squared is 36, so that works. And when I plug in 6 here, 3 times 6 is going to give me 18. 18 plus 18 gives me 36. That checks out. So I know that I can say PQ is 6. Um, which would then make the side, sorry, I'm sorry, N is 6, which would then make the side QP 36. And checking the other answer, negative 3. Um, I can plug negative 3 in here. Negative 3 squared is going to give me 9. I can have a side that is 9 long, so that's perfect. But when I plug in negative 3 here, let's see what happens. So I plug in negative 3 here. 3 times negative 3 is a negative 9. And negative 9 plus 18 gives me a positive 9. So both those sides are 9 and 9, which means that that is also a possible answer. So 36 or 9. is going to be my answer on that problem. And once again, if you followed that, great. That's a great review because that skill is super important in Algebra 2. Uh, but a problem like that where you have to factor will not be tested in geometry class. Next problem. Here, our goal is to find angle K right there. So here we get to use our knowledge of isos, uh, vertical angles. If this angle right here is 28 degrees, then this angle right here also has to be 28 degrees. And if these are congruent, so we have an isosceles triangle, then I know G and K also are congruent as well. And I can set up a triangle sum theorem problem to do X plus X plus 28 is going to give me 180. Because remember, all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So X plus X plus the 28 degrees right there. 2x plus 28 is equal to 180. 2x is equal to 152. And when I divide that by 2, then I get x is equal to 76. So the measurement of angle K is 76 degrees. All right, so here is a super helpful hint for you if you are watching the videos right now. Uh, there's a question like this next one with triangle FED on the test, and this was one of the most missed questions on the test. So if you, um, just so just make sure you know how to do this one. It's going to be a good skill. It's definitely going to be one that you see on the test on Thursday. So if I have an equilateral triangle, that tells me I also have an equal angular triangle. And in an equal angular triangle, what are what is each angle? 60 degrees, right? So I know that 60 has to be equal to angle F, which is 30T 
plus 20. So typically we can't do this. We can only do this in an equilateral triangle. But if you know it's equilateral, then you know one side is 60, and you can set up one of the angles that were given and set that equal to 60. So solving this, I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. I'll get 30t is equal to 40. And then dividing by 30, I get t is equal to, if I reduce that fraction, I get 4 over 3. So my answer for this problem, t equals 4 over 3. And we have another triangle sum theorem problem. So because I know that these sides are congruent, segment SU and segment UT, I know that this angle also has to be 3.5N. Remember, it's the two opposite angles, so it's this angle and this angle are congruent. That's why I know it's not that 11N that it matches up with. All right, and now that we know that, we can set up our triangle sum theorem equation. 3.5n plus 3.5n plus 11n is equal to 180. Right. Combining like terms, adding 3.5 plus 3.5 is 7, plus 11 is 18. So I get 18n is equal to 180. Divide by 18, and we'll get n is equal to 10. Does not ask us to plug this answer back in, so all I do is have to write my answer n equals 10. And these last two, definitely going to use your knowledge um, throughout this entire uh, year of geometry so far. So, measurement of angle A, our goal is to find that angle right there. We're given a lot of information. So we're given that we have an equilateral triangle and that we have an isosceles triangle. So in an equilateral triangle, remember each angle is going to be 60 degrees. So we do know that the measurement of angle BDC is 60 degrees. So then this angle is supplementary to 60, which means I can do 180 minus 60 to find that angle. And I get 120 degrees. So I know this angle ADB is 120 degrees. And because this is an isosceles triangle, we know that this other angle right here is going to be congruent to that angle A that we're trying to find. So I can call it x, just like I've been doing. And I can set up my triangle sum theorem equation. 120 plus x plus x is equal to 180 and solve from there. Go ahead and pause the video, see if you can solve it on your own. All right, so working through this problem, we get x equals 30. So that I know the measurement of angle A is 30 degrees. Nothing else I have to plug that number into. Right. And that last one. So our goal is to find x. All right, this question is not necessarily so difficult, but there's a lot to it. This is actually like a three-part question. So the first thing we need to do is in the same way we've been doing it, figure out these two angles. Then after we do that, we can figure out these two angles using our knowledge and triangle sum theorem. And then after we're done with the whole, both of those problems, then I can take that red angle, which is going to be 180 degrees in straight line, and subtract the two answers we found for the light blue and the dark blue angles. So let's set up our first equation. 76 plus x plus x is equal to 180. Once again, go ahead and pause the video, try and solve that on your own. All right, and I get x equals 52, so I know that this angle um, QRP right here is going to be 52 degrees. Um, just a quick side note, choosing a variable x was not a very smart idea on my part because there's this angle x that we're trying to find our whole goal. So I should have used a different letter, maybe A and B for this one if we wanted to. All right, my next job is to find that dark blue one. I'm going to do pretty much the same process here. Take that 102, um, and we're going to add it. I'll use A this time, so plus A is equal to 180. Once again, we know those two blue angles are congruent since we have an isosceles triangle that we're working on. So solve the problem. Pause the video if you need to. All right, so we get A is equal to 39. Or in other words, this angle right here, TRS, is going to be 39 degrees. 
So once again, my whole goal is to figure out what X is. So I want to add the light blue, which is 52, plus that X that we're trying to find, plus that 39 degree angle, and all together this should equal that red angle, which is a straight line, 180 degrees. So when I add this up, go ahead and do this equation on your own. All right, and solving that, we get x equals 89. So I know my answer is going to be 89 degrees when I add them all up and subtract it from 180. All right, after completing this, make sure you do the LT check and the badge wall. Make sure both those are complete and done, ready to go.